This is a story about the island of Lipari, part of the Aeolian archipelago that lies just north of Sicily. It's a story about me and my partner, some fresh fish, a small sailboat, too many jellyfish, nearly running out of water on an island which has none, and of course, a journey by sea. Our exploration of Lipari started on the southwest side of the island, in a place with very high cliffs and a very good sunset view. We spent the day swimming, snorkeling, and looking for fish. Aladino has sighted the fish he wants to catch. Yes. And he has sighted me, so maybe he won't show up anymore. <laughs> Aladino spotted a fish under a rock, which he set his sights on for dinner. But the fish knew the sea floor better than Aladino did, darting in and out of rocks and wriggling through seaweed to escape capture. What happened? Well, I missed the right moment. I thought I could get closer. Oh. But I'll go again. Eventually I got cold and headed back, but Aladino continued and was rewarded with three chilie, all quite large for their species, which he cut up on the beach in preparation for dinner. And so with fresh fish and the expectation of a new island to discover, we watched as the sun sank down and the sky lost the harsh colors of daylight and flowed into a lovely pastel scene. The following day was spent lazily at anchor, doing some video editing and catching up on boat work, but as the afternoon wore on, we picked up anchor and continued north. There aren't many good anchorages on Lipari, so we had to entertain ourselves by watching as the shoreline drifted by instead of stopping to set foot on land. But when we rounded the northeastern corner, we saw the remains of an old mining operation on the shore, standing like an old skeletal ghost. The bottom there was a little bit shallower, so we anchored in front of one of the old buildings, and that was it for the day. So I woke up this morning to the smell of campfire smoke. And uh, when I poked my head outside, I realized why. Lipari is on fire. Over there you can see the smoke and there's been these uh, planes dropping water on it all morning.
So we did a quick Google search to see if there were any news articles published about the fire yet. And it seems like there's a fire here almost every week and there is a big picture of those planes. Um, so I guess they probably have it under control. The planes have been buzzing around all morning. Still really smells like wood smoke, but uh, it's not the worst smell in the world. morning the spectacle continued and we had a front row seat. The plane would swoop down and skim along the water filling its tanks with salt water and then take off again, far heavier than before, to battle the flames. After watching, mesmerized for a little while, we decided to weigh anchor and continue along our journey. Lipari is a very small island, if you haven't already guessed that, so it only took about an hour to reach the southernmost point, where we dropped anchor once again. You heading out spearfishing, Amore? Yes, you come with me? I'm gonna come with you and watch, yeah. Awesome. Ready to go! <laughs> No fish were caught on this dive, but we did find some amazing underwater scenery. Excellent visibility combined with rock faces covered in marine life made a surreal atmosphere below the waves. As we swam along, I swam over a rock fall which had tumbled down the cliffs many years ago. Kicking on the surface, I wriggled over the rocks, twisting my neck this way and that to peer into all the little recesses. Breathing through a snorkel with no need to lift my eyes from the water, it really is like another world, as if the air no longer exists and humans were made to just float along, an observer with a view from above. And so, another day ended on Lipari. Good morning. So I got up really early this morning and I was going to swim to shore and maybe go for a little walk. Uh, there's big cliffs backing the beach so I wasn't sure if I'd be able to climb up but I figured I'd go have a look. But I got up and I took one look at the water and I decided very firmly against that. I'm gonna show you why. One second. So, here's the boat. Look at the amount of jellyfish in the water. Is that not insane? And it just goes on and on. I think it might be hard to see in the reflection from the lens. But there are so many jellyfish. There is no way I'm going for a swim right now. I consider myself to be quite an advocate for marine life, but I really don't like jellyfish. Oh, they give me the creeps. So, Dini, what's the activity mm -hmm. for the morning? Uh, surgery. <laughs> Husband repair. Husband repair. <laughs> yeah, well, when I was after groupers yesterday, I swam into a sea urchin, so the place where you would uh, at le least expect it. I swam into it, so I got some sea urchin right there. I really wish I had filmed it because you swam up and... You, and I had it sticking on my head. You had it sticking on your <laughs> head. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. And and then I took it off, uh, but yeah. the spines break off really easily, so... And now all night I kind of felt it pump in and uh, a little hot, so it's better to remove them, so... Since the boat moves so much and it's so hard to get them out, uh, we'll go on the beach. After we removed the worst of the sea urchin spines from Aladino's head, it was time to continue. The main town of Lipari sits on the east side of the island, and we thought we'd motor over to go check it out. We really needed some water and some fuel, so we hoped to get a harbor for the night and be able to come and go from the boat as we pleased. We phoned the harbor to inquire about a spot, and we got quite a shock. Buongiorno, parlo con uh, Mare Marina. Allora, siamo una piccola imbarcazione di 9 metri. Volevo domandare se c'è posto e a che prezzo. 100 euro? Ok, eh, credo che sia simile dappertutto ad agosto. Ai ai ai. Um, ok, uh, ci devo pensare su, grazie. 
Oh, I might lose more blood out of my head if they continue shocking me on the phone. <laughs> so I just called one marina in Lipari, uh, 100 euros. For a night, that's unheard of. For one night. And obviously everything comes from with the ships here, like the water and everything. And it's high season, like right now August is the busiest it can get. All the Italians are on holiday too. That's why she had to check in between if they had a spot free. But yeah, it, I'm shocked for nine meter boat, our little boat, a hundred euros, that's crazy. Yeah, we're not paying that. Yeah, well, I mean, it depends. We gotta fill up water somewhere at one point. Yeah, but we but can yeah, try and get it with we'll jerry see. cans or something. Otherwise, we go to Volcano there, it would have been 40. Maybe it is 50 or 60 now that it's August. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's call some others. Yeah. yeah. So we've just been discussing what our plan is because we were planning on spending the night in the harbor, but there's no way we're paying 100 euros a night for our nine meter, 28 foot boat. That's just insane. Um, so we're trying to figure out what to do. And we really, really, really need water and groceries at this point, um, which is gonna be more difficult to get here. And the other problem is that anchoring here is really bad. Like when we anchored, and reversed to, to set the anchor, it kept slipping quite a bit, the, the holding ground is, is not good. Um, so what we might do is go back again to the anchorage that we know on Volcano, where we can provision, get everything that we need, and then continue maybe to the island of Selina tomorrow morning to explore some new places. It's kind of a shame that we're going to miss Lippery because it is a really cute town, but I have been here before on the tall ship, and I mean, there's so many cute towns on the coast here that it's okay to miss one. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We decided to fill up with these along the buddy before going to Volcano for groceries. In case anyone's curious, filling up a boat isn't too unlike filling up a car. You don't have to call ahead, you just sail up to the pump, and often the attendant already has fenders and ropes ready for you to tie up. You fill your tank, make small talk with the attendant, and then off you go. All right, super funny story I have to tell you quickly. Uh, the guy at the fuel dock was really happy that Aladino spoke Italian because I guess a lot of people come by who don't. And uh, the first question he asked was if we're married and so Aladino responded that we are. And then as we were leaving, he said, okay, now next year you come with a baby. Okay, you have a baby, you come with a baby. Yeah, like how are you married? Baby yet. It was so funny. You gotta make the familia. Make the familia, the molto importante. Yeah. <laughs> what do you make the pasta for you? <laughs> and uh, next thing we need is water. So we were gonna just take it with jerry cans from Volcano, but the guy at the fuel dock said we might be able to get it at this harbor. We will have to pay for it because all the water on this island is brought, this is brought in by ship, the this one behind boat. us. Isn't that crazy? Oh, there goes my hat. Yeah, and after windy. researching it online, um, we actually found that they are trying hard to get a desalinator, like a water maker, a big one. And they might get funds now from, well, Sicily mainland, main island, to actually get that done because they're spending millions and millions to get the water shipped to all the Aeolian islands. Which would make sense to have uh, something like a water maker. Absolutely, yeah, so crazy. So anyway, water is at a premium here, but we do need some, so we'll see how much uh, the harbor charges for it. We approached the dock to ask for water. Mm -hmm. Do you see the harbor staff on the dock there? Yes. Yeah. We'll ask them uh, if it's possible to get water. So we just asked, and I think uh, the whole island's filling up with water right now from this ship, and everyone's a bit low. So they said to come back tomorrow morning, and they said it would be free, which is actually amazing. That not what I was expecting, um, but that's awesome. We motored over to our trusted anchorage on Isola di Volcano once again to stock up on groceries, and then the following morning went in search of water. Good morning, everybody. So after pulling into Volcano last night, our most trusted and best uh, anchorage in terms of safety and also beauty, and just to get things done, we did groceries and uh, we spend about 200 euros on diesel and on groceries we're headed to Selena but on the way there we stop again in the harbor that promised us water yesterday yeah fingers crossed and uh, let's see what happens but apparently we can uh, Mediterranean more and just fill up water and then off we go 
so here we go. I really hope that it's true and I hope the same guy that said that is working there again today. Yeah, I mean even if we're paying a bit now, just yeah. uh, getting water because now we're really low. Yeah. It still lasted quite a bit. It lasted, the last time we filled out properly was Palermo. And yeah, that was two weeks. At least. Yeah, so least. we're doing pretty good. We entered the harbor and were given a spot to tie up and connect our water hose. Yahoo! We are in the harbor. We are filling up water. It feels so good to know that we have full diesel, full water, tons of provisions. And they haven't charged, Fantastic. They haven't charged us 100 euros yet. Yet. Yeah, <laughs> have, have they said anything about this? No. No. Yesterday they said it's good. Yesterday they said it would be we'll free, see. but these things always anyway. change. So. They gave me a visitor card to think of them and keep oh. them in mind in case we come back to the area so it might be a service. Nice. Yeah. So as we said before, but I mentioned it again, we run it through a filter here in the south because our stomachs were grumbling a bit before Yeah. and just the filter was not enough. So I also add some, um, this is by Katadin, um, it's uh, Micropore and it disinfects the water. It's got microbial silver? Is that how you call it? I think so. It? Something to do with silver. I don't know if microbial yeah. is the word. But. So the nice thing is it's just 100 milliliters but it will last us uh, more than one season cruising because on 100 liter which our tank holds we just need 10 milliliters which is half a capful and then 100 liters are pretty drinkable. Yeah. yeah. Alright Amore, have we got all the water we need? Even more. Amazing. Yeah, Doesn't we, that feel good? We filled up all the way to the hoses. Perfect. Um, and the jugs are full. Yeah, we should be good for one or two weeks of exploring. Perfect. I well, I think more like two. The other last water two. supply lasted us so long. Yeah, around there. And so, with a boat that was fully prepared for the next few weeks of island adventuring, we set off from Liberty to explore the next island in the group. As always, a giant giant thank you to our patrons you guys really do make these episodes possible more than you might even think and we really appreciate what you do for us if you're interested in becoming a patreon please check out the link in the description below and an extra special thank you to these folks who go above and beyond every single week to really make sure that these productions continue thank you so much to all of you